Hey, what's up, guys? Ancient here, bringing you another episode of Pathfinder Kingmaker. It's been a while since I recorded because a friend was visiting, and uh, I've done a whole bunch of. I've been taking care of some shit because there's a lot of stuff I haven't really done since I moved into this apartment. Because I'm not very good at being a human being. Oh no. Why did I just do that? Okay, well, the good news was... <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really hurt me at all that I accidentally just cancelled that. Feather tokens? Aha, gnarl marches, right, yes. Hmm. Over there, perhaps. Oh! Kobolds! Hopefully these have nothing to do with Chief Suitscale. If these guys actually just kill me, I'm gonna be very upset. What is happening? Why is that weird shockwave emanating from reg-, reg? Oh! The Boomsayer! That's what's happening. Okay. So that was a thing. Uh huh. Ooh, a sigh. How very interesting. March on. A gnome? Uh-huh. Charge that one, Thorkin. You charge that one, I guess, because you're closer to that one. Yeah! There we go! You have killed them until they are dead. Ah! Oh, Tartuk! Aha! Uh -huh. I forgot to do the voice acting. Fuck! Stupid! There's a purple kobold on the riverbank who looks just like your old acquaintance Tartuccio. Oh, wait, that was just fuck. Kobolds want this cart. Kobolds shall have it. The horse skull hides the most most of the kobold's face, but you see vicious eyes glinting through the empty sockets, staring at you. By order by orders of myself, the glorious King Tartuk. The kobold pounds his chest with his fist. Tartuk, King! The head of the gnome expedition b wipes his brow and glares at the kobold. This bastard was one of the- w was the one talking our ears off while the rest of them were trying to steal our cart! King Tartuk! The gnome looks at you and winks. 
What do you say uh, to a bit of regicide? Yep, I thought I've had a feeling he was going to be back. Tartuccio, I recognize you. What is this new disguise and why are you not dead? How dare you speak like that to King Kobolds? Attack! Shirdaz! He appears to have imbued them somehow. Oh shit, all the charging. Oh god, Amiri's fucked. Ah. <laughs> uh, shit, yeah, she's fucked. I mean, unless... Unless I can do this. Okay, well I just waste... Okay, good, it didn't go off. Ah, oh, I hate it when I do that. Come on. Do I have a healing potion? I don't. I do have a potion of invisibility though. I don't know why I use that considering this fight is almost over. Ha! See you soon enough! This is not over! My cart, it's sinking. Alright, come on, let's save the cart. Among all the fuss, the cart's ponies have nearly slipped their harnesses. Better hurry to catch them. While the gnomes were busy fighting the kobolds, furiously cursing and diligently punching their unwelcome guests right in their dragonish snouts, the cart was all but forgotten. The unwitting cause of the fight, it was being dragged, by, dragged away by the scared ponies when it slid down the ford, sinking all the way up to the coachman's seat in the river. There, this was where the Skunk River flows into the Tuskwater, and the current becomes excessively spiteful, cold, and stubborn, and turbulent. Having taken hold of the gnome's cart, the Skunk River must have decided to drag it down amid all the commotion, but it was caught in the act! I love how they're just talking about this river like it's a fucking, like, mischievous child. The surviving gnomes, led by the head of the gnome expedition, ex an extremely loud and crabby fellow, but not without some managerial talent, were able to catch the cart before it floated away. Faces red and grunting from the strain, they struggled to keep it from drowning entirely. Just then, a package fell into the water. With a heartbreaking splash, it vanished beneath the current, only to resurface ten meters down the river. No! The head of the gnome expedition moaned as he glowered at the package. That was alchemy and life! The latest issue! After plunging into the cold river, the ponies immediately lost their nerve. Swiveling their ears and twitching, they tried to chew through the reins and throw off the load. Why are you just standing around? Go on, help them! The head of the gnome expedition was visibly dissatisfied as he shouted. Hmm. Choose a character. One of us tried to jump onto the cart to untie the ponies still standing in the water. Um. Hmm. Okay, so it's based on. Oh, Lord, no! Oh, that's not good. Octavia, how about you? Maybe... Fuck. Oh shit. Well, that ended poorly. Oh, okay, good. We tied a rope to the cart. One, two, three, and the rope was securely tied to the cart, making it easier to pull out. A good lesson for every adventurer. Never leave home without a rope. Rope is your best friend. Lamp oil. Lamp oil. Rope? 
Why are you just standing around? Oh. Gathering our strength, we began pulling the cart from the river. Ready? Ah, my foot! The head of the gnome expedition yelled, his face red and angry. With help like this, my possessions will be down the river in a flash. Just go to the camp, or find those runaway ponies, or find some other way to help. Gods! We tried to pull the cart out. The cart creaked and cracked, sounding as though it were sobbing. The board strained against the combined stress of the rushing water's pull again, uh, against everyone trying to pull the cart ashore. Unfortunately for the cart, both sides were of equal strength. Something had to be done or the poor cart would be torn to pieces. Shit. Huge stone on the riverbed was blocking the cart, so the Baron tried to find it and move it out of the way. 20 athletics, seems cool. WHAT?! HOW DO YOU- YOU SON OF A BITCH! After resisting our efforts for a while, the cart finally began to give. Squelching loudly in the mud, it jerked forward. And as the head of the gnome expedition opened his mouth to let out a victory cry... But that sly snake of a river decided that if she couldn't have a trophy, no one would. Instead of riding out on the ford, the cart began to lean, then slowly, almost magnificently, fell on its side. The scream of triumph only made it halfway before sticking in the gnome's throat. Son of a troll! The perplexed gnome gazed on his collection of boxes, packages, and, pa and bags slowly fl as it fl slowly floated away. That gaze then came to the rest of, came to rest on us. Well then, thank you travelers for your oh so invaluable help. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and reload real quick.